Cardinals, man, what is the deal? However you want to, to kind of specifically phrase the question of what's going on with Arizona. A couple of losses in a row. They go to Detroit, you know, plausibly the worst team in the league, and it, it wasn't even close. 30-12 to 12 loss. Before we get into that, let's take a listen to Dan Campbell and what he had to say after the game. Hey man, welcome to Detroit. Man, I tell you what, we did everything we said we needed to do to that team. We did everything. They did do everything. I, I Ran know. all over them, made yeah. it look easy. Right. What's your read? I mean – couple of days later, actually three days later, yeah. on, on how they won that game. Yeah, I mean, first off, this isn't one of those games where I go, well, the Cardinals were clearly better. They just messed it up, mm. right? I mean, listen, we've had a lot of games like that where I go, okay, listen, calm down, everybody. Like, this team still better. They messed up. It's the NFL. You mess up three times, you're going to lose. This wasn't that. It wasn't. It goes back a little to what I thought it was on Monday. They beat them flat out. There's no like, oh, man, the Cardinals did this wrong. Or, no, they were out hit. They were out coached. They were out executed. Whatever you want to say there, they did it all. Defense did some cool things that really gave Cardinals some issues. We're going to break that down. Offensively, you know, yeah, ran the ball, had some quick passes that got Goff the ball out of his hands because they had the Cardinals do a lot of crazy blitzes and things. They had that. You know, but then because of the running the ball, they had a few good play action passes, you know, uh, uh, involved in that too. And that, that was the game. But I think the biggest thing of the game was, you know, one, listen, I did not expect Jared Goff to go 21 of 26 and three touchdowns. Right. I did not. I did not think they would also, if they did that, be able to couple a hundred yard rusher with it. You know, that all of that. I mean, it was just. It was a good old-fashioned butt whooping yeah. with just the timing of a, you know, like the oh shit play that put them up 10 nothing. Like, hey, we moved the ball. They're moving the ball. Run in, short pass, run, run, short pass. Now let's go for the kill play action pass. Boom. Touchdown. You know, 37-yarder uh, Amon Ross St. Brown. But, I mean, man, they had a 93-yard drive for a touchdown, followed up by a 97-yard for a touchdown. Yeah. You know, there were some stupid penalties by the Cardinals, but that wasn't luck. They moved the ball on this football team. Yeah. Yeah. Big time. Yeah. You got a couple examples to show it. And one other thing to keep in mind, Cardinals came in 7-0 and on the road before going to Detroit. Right. Uh, so just adding to the level of surprise there. There we see 7-0 and before they go to the Lions and lose. Points a game, they were right at 33. They only put up 12. Uh, just – way off what they were used to doing when they left, uh, what they're used to doing, we're used to seeing when they leave Arizona. So with that background, let's take a look at what Kyler Murray did or didn't do here. This is second quarter, eight and a half minutes left. It's already a 10-0 line. Yeah, left. you know, again, it goes into a little bit of game plan specific defensive calling by the, by the Detroit Lions and obviously having a good feel for what a team does or like, like how they want to attack you. And – Maybe also knowing, wait, what's their plan really? Do they really have a plan against some of these looks and the things they're going to do? You know, again, like th this, this was the defense of the day here that gave the Cardinals issues. It was. The Cardinals, just to sum it up, really early in the game, they couldn't get yards unless they ran the ball or threw a screen. They couldn't do anything else. Anything in the drop back pass game, Detroit was all over it, whether they exposed protection or they knew where the ball was going to be thrown and they had people there. Here's a little bit of both. You know, here's both. Again, like what they really did in my – this is Miami. This is, they did the Dolphins stuff we've broken down. Like a lot of these looks right here, and it's man, 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 right, man – Man, all right? It looks like it might be an all-out blitz, right? It's going to be something like that, all right? Mm -hmm. And as you see, I, I don't even think it's man. I, I don't really know what to tell you this coverage is, it's okay? It's confusion. It's confusion. It's game plan specific to, wait, we don't even give a shit about a safety in the middle of the field. We don't think, one, they're going to be able to figure out how to pick up, which is ultimately going to be, a four-man rush here. That's Started out as six, not only in alignment, but those other two who eventually dropped, they, they came right away. They took a few steps, yeah. right? Right. So they did the thing. We've, we, you know, we've broken this down a lot. Oops, sorry. I don't know why that button always does that. But, yeah, I mean, you see there, all right, they go. There's the two. And now you got two dropping out, right? You got a drop out. You got a drop out. All right, we got two. Four-man rush. They obviously, this is a theme of the day. 
have a good feel for what they were going to do offensively whenever they lined up in this. And they knew, okay, they're going to slide the whole line this way. All right, well, that's great, but that guy's going to be free then. Nobody's going to block him. And that's what happens here. So now you have this and a defense where they called, where they basically said, no safety in the middle of the field, and we're going to just have a bunch of people in the middle of the field because you're the Cardinals, and like the Bucks, right, and maybe more than even the Bucks, they love to throw the crossers over the middle too. And this is something you'll see throughout the day. Again, look at, I mean, this play is called to stop exactly what's being called here. Look, it's a crosser, a crosser, and a half crosser who's going to button hook over the middle. And you could see here it's one, it's two, it's three, it's four, it's five. They got five guys in this general area, and you're going to see more plays as we go forward here for all these crossers that you're not going to feel comfortable about, right? So there we go. They got that. He's thinking like, wait, I get this type of blitz. I should be able to just hit one of these crossers real quick and then it's the splits. Well, not if nobody blocks somebody. Yeah. So he's totally free. There's nothing that quick, let alone they're in the areas if you're going to throw hot to where, like this picture right here, like where do you want them to throw it? This guy's going upfield not looking. These two aren't looking and there's guys here. You can't throw it anywhere. That they was... almost disregard this guy, like as you'll see. Yeah. But it doesn't really matter because – the confusion with the protection and how to stop it, and then they took away the quick throws off of that, and that ends up being a sack. There's a lot of stuff. You, like you could spend 20 minutes trying to figure out what's yeah. going to the back end, but didn't matter because of the deception up front won before, b- before any of that came into play. It's like, it's like blitz change cover zero. Yeah. I don't even know what to really call it. It's not really a blitz. It's like a cover zero zone here. I mean, that's really what it is. They're all playing eyes in the backfield, look for crossers. They're going to throw something just past the first down line here. So let's make sure we're there. They had to have had a beat on this is what they do. This is They're going to try to just throw it just past the, cro- the first down marker to get it. And they had people there, and obviously the protection was an issue too. And this was consistent really all the way, especially through the first three quarters of the football game. We'll have one more play to look at, but just one thought when I watch Arizona here and I was thinking about them driving in here, you look around their division with the Rams offensively, the Niners offensively, you can picture them recently clicking along awfully well on offense. When was the last time you had two games in a row? And I know Kyler's been injured, but when was the last time you had a couple, three games in a row where the Cardinals offense was like, yeah, that's what we've come to know. You're right. It's it. It's been a while. It's, it's been it's probably been over before his injury. Sure, it has. It's definitely. It's just troubling this time before, of year. No doubt. We saw this a little last year. You know, they kind of fell off at the end of the year. Yeah. You know, because teams, teams have got a pretty good beat on their passing game. Now, where they're a little dangerous is like what we talked about all year. They, they do have a running game and a really good screen game that keeps you off their, their passing game to a degree. Yeah. But I do think – and specifically in this game, it really shows that, yeah, there's too many repeat calls. And there was obviously a feel of we know what's coming here in this situation. Or if we play this defense and get this blitz, we know what you're going to look for, and yeah. we're going to have people there waiting for it. Right. There was a lot of that going on through this game. Let's stay in the second quarter here, later in the second quarter, still 10 nothing, And now I think is this third, uh, third and goal? Yeah. Where we go? Yeah, second down. Um, pardon, pardon me, second quarter, I was looking at the Brady stuff. It's 10 nothing, and it's third and goal on the line three. Yeah, I mean, you know, again, this is a big part of the game right here. It's 10 nothing, third and goal. They're going to end up with zero points on this, on this drive. And then the Lions are going to go 97 yards for a touchdown and make the game 17 nothing. And this is a huge turning point of the game. Now, again, here it is a similar look, Paul. I mean, you, you see it. Here, it's, it's three receivers here. There's one here in the back. Chase Edmonds set off here. Six, six defenders on the line. Six just defenders like on play. the line. And then all these guys in the back end just sitting here. This is all – everybody within – nobody's deeper than one yard in the end zone. One yard – nobody's deeper than that. I mean, I don't know. If they don't have a feel for what's coming, then, then I'm crazy. But look what it is again, Paul. Look at the middle of the field. Guess what's coming? Crossers. Crosser, 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 crosser. And Detroit's playing a defense where they're like, we're not even going to guard you. We're going to have five 
people here and just we're going to wait for the crossers to come to us. Like, it doesn't matter. We don't need to run with you. We know where you're going to be. I mean, look, it's there, it's there. He's running that way. They're going to try to get this on the back line, right? But none of it's there. And, of course, like, it's a weird look. So Kyler Murray's like, wait, coach didn't teach me to read this against this look. And they only got five out, and Detroit is dropping seven. Right, dropping the, seven. I mean, do the math. Here's your four-man rush. You know, so here you go, and, like, let's still frame it. All right, so here's Kyler at the top of his drop. I mean, okay, three guys, absolutely no chance of getting the football. None. Guy in the flat, no chance you could throw to him. This guy right here, I believe that's A.J. Green on this play. I mean, all right, right now he's not making a break. You can't throw it to him. Kyler makes the mistake here of the pocket's not bad. I wish he would step up in the pocket, but then he ends up running to the right, okay, and now it's trouble. There's truly nobody open. There's truly nobody open. There's, there's nowhere to go here on this at all. And you can see, like, even here, A.J. Green, he makes a little shoulder shake and tries to break this way. It doesn't get the DB. He's there for it. But they're all over it. And, you know, what I do want to say is, like, yeah, it's the second quarter, and there's two minutes and eight seconds left. And I've seen this right here, like, I'm going to say that's the fourth or fifth time in the first half where I've seen it, where it's three crossers in the middle of the field, that's great. They're all in the same area, yeah. and they're totally covered, and they're just eating up space. There's no, there's, they're not doing anything. So that's the predictability, I think, a little bit of the play calling and what they're doing there. They're all over it. Now he's under pressure. He tries to throw a laser in there. They don't Incomplete. get it. Incomplete. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.